<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Aha, there you go. I was like, it's not, nothing's coming up. I just forgot to unmute my mic. And no black screen this time because I'm professional. Very far from professional, anyway. Ah, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Well, y'all, yeah, hello. <laughs> well, welcome to another stream. And today, we're going to get started with um, a horror visual novel called uh, Black, excuse me, Death Mark. I don't know why I said black. I think I was... Oh, I was looking at my game and it said Knack and my head said... My, my, I'm weird. <clears throat> Are you guys looking at my demos? Yeah, I just downloaded demos for uh, Trails of the Cold Steel 3 and uh, the Medieval. I never played any of these Trails of the Cold Steel games, but I heard they were very good. So, I'll check it out later. But uh, that's what we're doing today. Today we're starting Deathmark, which is a horror visual novel that I believe came out for the Vita... The PS4, and I believe it's on the PC. And I believe this is perfect timing for me to actually play this game because the sequel to this game called NG is going to be released later this week. So what I'm thinking I might do is play through this, and if I really enjoy it, that I might go through the sequel as well, which I heard is, like, even worse, per se, than this game. So... We're, we're just we're just delving right in because if I keep prolonging this then I I'm not gonna be able to get through it at all so now <clears throat> I've said this on my announcement video I said it on my discord and I believe my chat knows but I'm gonna say it again just in case this game delves into very heavy and sensitive topics. Um, I believe I was warned it goes into suicide, cults, obviously ghosts, extreme body horror, mutilation of both humans and animals. Uh, God knows what else, but this is a warning to everybody watching this, whether live right here or on YouTube right now or on a VOD. This is your warning to get out. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to handle this, but we're going right in. <clears throat> now, please excuse my abysmal voice acting, especially since I'm going to be talking for girls right now. Yay. Uh, there's an auto button, which I, I don't like using auto in... Um, in visual novels. It's like, I want to push X, because I, I want my own time and everything. There's also a log, so always nice. Hey, want to hit up the karaoke place? The new Love and Hero song's out. Hmm. I'm not feeling up to it today. The story creeped me out earlier. Do you want to hear it? Oh, sure. You remember Miss uh, Yamaguchi? She wears those big glasses. I heard she's gone missing. Uh, that sucks. What? No one knows where she is? Nope. She just disappeared. Just up and poofed from the library. Hey, the music though. If you guys, uh, let me know how the audio is. If I need to hire myself, lower the game audio, let me know. One of the student librarians said she was researching something there. But then she vanished. But she's super diligent, right? One of the students thought it was, a, it was weird that she just up and leave like that. So, he checked in on her. But when he did... Well, as you can see, they're not fucking around with this game. I would say excuse my language, but this is rated M, so... The Mature Pharaoh's coming out. Uh, holy crap! 
Long time since you heard Pharaoh voice act for a female, right? It's like, I haven't been able to do this for a long time, but... There you go. The only thing left was her arm. It, uh, it had her really... It had a really... Wait. It had her really weird scar on it? Oh, yeah, like, her, she had a scar. Okay. It had her really weird scar on it. So it was definitely her arm. A scar? Yeah, it looked like a dog bite. She showed it to me once. She had no idea where it came from. For real? There was a scar like that on Miki's leg too. Huh? Miki? Wait, that's... The girl who went missing, yeah. That's crazy. <clears throat> Did Justin do a pun? Oh yeah, so need a hand? How dare you. But the puns will come. That's what happens. Uh, can we swear too? Yeah, yeah, as long as it's not towards anybody. If you guys are not rude towards anyone else, I don't mind. Maybe that rumor's true. The one about the cursed scar. Cut it out! You're scaring me! You mean like Miss Samaguchi's arm? Because it was cut out. <laughs> uh, I hear snatches of an idiotic ghost story. They're speaking seriously. But it's obviously they don't believe a word of it. They're only killing time. Rumors are the best way to do that. The sun's about to set. It's gotten later than I planned. I shouldn't have struck around to hear that story. I better hurry. Stuck around, not struck around. Heart palpitations. Thunder rumbles in the distance. A huge mansion is in front of me. Strange. I'm sure I was just... My vision blurs. My ears are buzzing. Ugh. My head's swimming. It's almost like I'm drunk. <clears throat> what time is it? I glance at my wrist, but my watch is gone. Did I put it in my coat pocket? But all I found is a business card. In elegant printed letters is a name. Saya Kujo, Spirit Healer. I'm going to pronounce all these names wrong, by the way, so as a heads up. On the back is a photo of the mansion. I guess this must be Kujo Mansion, then? Kujo Mansion. Saya Kujo. Those names sound familiar somehow. One way to find out. Taking a deep breath, I reach out to knock. I stop when I see something on the wrist. On my wrist. It's a strange scar. When did that... I could have just been imagining this, but... I feel an icy chill when I look at it. <clears throat> my first pound's in a door. No reply. A light appears in the second floor window. It's probably too far from the door for them to hear me knocking. So I just waltzed right in, apparently. Okay. Huh. I grab the doorknob and I find it unlocked. No point in staying outside. I'll just go in. I'll apologize to the owner later. The inside is shrouded in darkness. A small beam of light from the window is the only way I can see anything in here. It's dead silent except for the constant ticking of a clock's second hand. Second hand, I should say. 
I must be in the entrance hall. The atrium extends to the second floor. Anyone home? There's no reply to my shout. Maybe they're soundproof this place so they can't hear me down here. I guess I need to head upstairs then. The staircase is just visible up ahead. I walk toward it, cutting across the hall. My ears catch a strange noise. I turn to look where it's coming from. Well, <clears throat> I'm not a fan of creepy dolls either. Oh boy. It really does look like a Resident Evil mansion, right? I'm like, it's like, this is Spencer Mansion. Reminds you of Alone in the Dark. I never played Alone in the Dark. <clears throat> it's anime Annabelle. <laughs> I never watched those movies either. Someone's there, enveloped by the dark. I think they're staring at me. Um... So, I don't know if any of these are bad choices. Now, ignoring them sounds stupid. I kind of want to talk to them, but I feel like I need... I, as much to my better judgment, I think I'm going to approach them so I can get a better look. Gulping. I hesitantly t make my way over. Uh, trepidation slowing my steps. Ah, uh, don't open your eyes. Don't open your eyes. It's a young girl. She doesn't move an inch as I approach. At least it seems that way to me. <clears throat> it doesn't look like she's even breathing. Corpse. Great. If I creep myself out, I start to sweat. What should I do? Once again, against my better judgment, with a shaky hand, I slowly reach out and touch her skin. I'm not sure what I expected, but it feels unnatural somehow. Stiff and cold. I press down on her arm and she makes a strange sound I heard earlier. Ah, now it makes sense. She's a doll. A doll's joints creak when they're moved. That's what I, that's what made the noise. What a relief, if disappointing. <clears throat> Guys, I I will say, as I continue here, um, whatever choices I make is what I will make. Um, this is not something that's viewer choice. I mean, I know you guys may want me to do a particular choice or action. Um, just to let you all know, I'm not going to be listening to chat in that sense. I'm going to be ultimately choosing what I want to choose to continue through the game. Um, not, um, it seems like later on there there will be choices that will affect the game somehow, some way. I will determine how that goes based on my own judgment. Just just saying how it is for me. Um, kind of like how I played the any Telltale game. I've just played it for my own choices. And I will let you guys watch. <clears throat> Excuse me. I carefully begin climbing the stairs, making sure not to trip. As I reach the landing, the sharp sound of a bell breaks the silence. It seems to be coming from above me. You guys can go ahead and say what actions you would choose. I, I mean, I wouldn't say it bothers me, but I just don't want people to get the idea that they're going to get mad if I choose something different. That's the only thing I, I, I want to avoid, per se. Like, nobody get mad at what I decide to do in the game. Looking up, I can spy the outline of a clock. I bet that's what's making the sound. Really? Not, uh, yeah, dude. It's a, it's a chiming sound. Of course, it's coming from there. Um, uh, let's approach it. The 
The noise guides me over. It's an antique grandfather clock. The noise is definitely coming from here. I reach toward a glass to check inside. All of a sudden, it stops chiming. Silence descends, broken only by ticking. I guess it's fixed now, but that timing was a little too spot on. Was it really a coincidence? Anytime I think of a grandfather clock, I think of that Goosebumps book, uh, The Cuckoo Clock of Doom. Good book. I like Goosebumps. I think I have a Goosebumps game. Maybe I'll play that during this month. Don't know yet. You're the one playing the game. You have every right to make your own choices. I applaud your fearlessness so far. <laughs> well, thank you, Binks. Just bear hug everything in the mansion. Yeah, just hug everything the game. All these strange occurrences make me uneasy, but I continue on the room of the light. Stopping in front of the door, I knock. But again, there's no reply. I try again several times, even calling out, but there's still no answer. I push on the door. It's dark inside. Strange. I definitely saw lights on, uh, on in here when I was outside. Wafting through the room is an odd smell. It's sugary, like a ripe fruit. The whole room is permeated with it. Uh, permeated, I should say, with it. Some kind of aromatherapy, maybe? Ooh la la! Sorry. Anytime I hear aromatherapy, automatically my mind goes to Jean Armstrong from Trials and Tribulations. It's not a particularly pleasant smell, though. The aroma draws me further into the room. The floor under my feet feels... off. It's wet. It dawns on me that I'm smelling something else mixed in with the sweet smell. I know this scent. This metallic tang. The hell is that? Lightning flashes and I catch a glimpse of something. The startlingly grotesque object stretches out across the floor beneath my feet. Something strange is there. Damn right, I'm gonna stare at it. I gotta, I gotta know what the hell it is. I still kinda got... It's somebody, but I don't know what the fudge was in the middle of all that. What the hell's going on? <clears throat> it's so bizarre that I can't stop staring. What the hell? So it's a woman, but she has like a... F she has plants growing out of her. Like, this is what I would imagine a rated M poison ivy would do to somebody. Like, it was like no, no, nothing held back. This is what she would do to her victims. Like, what the hell is this? Blooming flowers are everywhere. They're bursting out of the woman's stomach. Her blood-soaked body overwhelmed with them. It's the last of us. Oh, crap, you're right, Justin. Clickers. Oh, I can't, I cannot wait for The Last of Us. That's going to be another game I may play, because I do want to pick up part two when it comes out. The Cordyceps. I wrench my gaze away, horrified. But the hellish image is burned into my mind. I can feel my entire body shaking. Bile rises. I'm going to throw up. Oh, it got little giggly noises. I'm backing away from my TV, by the way, so. <laughs> In the next instant, the lights are on. And the body is gone, too. Yay. Wait, that's not all. The body is gone, leaving only a stain. 
This doesn't make any sense. It's a bad dream. At least, I'd really much prefer it if it was. But the faint smell that remains in a bloodstained crush any hope that I had of that. I beat a retreat from the room in an effort to escape this whole bizarre situation. When I stumble back into the hall, the lights are on in here as well. I decide to have another look around. All the furnishings in here are old enough to be antiques. They match this old-fashioned mansion. Why are her eyes open? <laughs> That's unsettling. It's like she's staring into my soul. A large doll sits on a couch. This must be the f figure I saw in that dar in the dark. One would easily mistake this for a human if they couldn't see the ball joints. Probably belongs to the owner of the mansion. Hey, uh, Beans, doesn't this remind you of that episode of Konosuba? <laughs> oh, that's, that's all I'm thinking about now when I think of an old mansion and scary dolls. That's all I remember now. I'm, just, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to envision that to make me laugh because I'm not, I'm not really liking this right now. So what do I do now? Contact the police? Her stomach was full of flour, sir, and the corpse up and vanished like fog. Like anyone would, would believe that. Yokoso. Who would have fudge said that? Oh, I have a feeling I know who said that. I just don't wanna I don't wanna admit who or what said that. Her eyes are controlled by a light sensor? Oh my god. I thought you were talking about my controller. I'm like, ugh. Gotta hold your pee. <laughs> Welcome to Cujo Mansion. Did she just blink? Or did my eyes play play tricks on me? I swear I don't know. I, it blinked, right guys? I I feel I just don't want I don't want to go crazy right here. I think on the corner of my eye. She she blinked. Okay, she blinked. Okay, jeez. I was like, um... <clears throat> the doll moved. It spoke. A different kind of shudder runs through me than the one that I found a corpse. Up until this point, I was, it was nothing, I was nothing more than an observer to all these freaky events. I could distance myself from it, but now... A doll is talking to me. Have I startled you? If so, I sincerely apologize. My master ordered me to behave as a normal doll until told otherwise. The words are elegant and refined. But her face never moves an inch. She may look human, but she clearly isn't. Oh boy. She slowly folds her arms together. If she can move too. I'm sorry for not introducing myself. I am called Mary. You have likely seen a number of oddities here already. I see. My master, Saya Kujo, was unable to escape from the mark then. Saya Kujo? Does she mean that corpse? But wait, was this about a mark? Lady Saya was searching for a way to escape the mark. Were you not also called here by her, uh, by her because of the mark on your arm? She must be talking about this weird scar. Did Saya Kujo invite me into this mansion? When I try to remember, my head hurts. I have something to tell you in place of my late, ma my late master. But I would like to ask one thing first. Do you know your own name? Well, that was a much simpler question than I had been expecting. It's... I... I break into a sweat. My throat is drying up. 
why? Why can't I answer? I'm shocked to find I'm coming up blank. I see. Then it is as I thought. Somehow Mary knows what's going on with me. Before I offer an explanation, please decide on a temporary name. Things will go much easier if I have a name by which to call you. It is also likely you will find it hard to remain calm if you are nameless. She's probably right. Better have some placeholder name than to continue life as a hollow, nameless being. Like a couple of dolls that I'm familiar with due to another game that's called Nameless. I swear that game is odd. I mean, anytime I stop by the streams, I'm like, what the fudge is going on? Oh, man. So enter the protagonist's name. It's up to last name. It's up to ten letters. Uh, please call yourself Master Chosen. <laughs> now, I would. Now, here's the thing, guys. I, I, I would give, like, a dumbass name like Meat Log or asshole or something like that to make things funny. However, um, I, I like, <laughs> I like sticking with canon names. Um, I, I'm not, I'm not using my name or Pharaoh. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick with the name given to me, uh, default, if that makes any sense. I know that's not any fun, but for me, I feel like Oh, that's the game. That's what the game wanted, so whatever. So, the default name is, uh, Yashiki, I believe. Yashiki's okay. And the first name is Kazu? Is it? Is it Kazuo? Is, is it? Is a one? Is it two syllables or three? I think it's Kazu. Like, like a. Now, I'm saying it wrong. I'm gonna call him Kaz. <laughs> Kazuo Kazuo Okay Oh, I, I can Change my appearance a little bit Kazuo Okay So Oh, it's It's only the oh, That's it? Okay I I don't think the beard looks right on him. Here, here, here's how it is. He either looks good with just the beard or just the glasses. So... I don't know which one I want. Ah, oh, you know what, F it. It'll be like a little bit like me. Glasses and beard. Why not? I'm uh, Kazuo y Yashiki. Understood, Lord, y Lord Yashiki. Now I shall explain to you about the mark. It is the seal of death. Oh, like a death mark? Da -da 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 -da. Those who have it will soon die. Well, that sucks. You do not believe me? I am certain this sounds absurd to the one who has led an uneventful life. However, my master's death proves it to be uh, to be irrefutably true. The corpse's sweet stench comes back to me. That didn't seem like the work of humans. I am afraid that the horror of the mark does not stop there. Victims slowly lose their memories until the day they die. They face death all the while suffering from the terror of losing oneself. Memory loss? That can't be. Does that mean that I'm... Yes. The fact that you have forgotten your name proves that death is coming. Lord Yashiki, you... will die this very dawn. Deathmark! Well, that's... Oof. That's not news you like. Yeah, speaking of getting a drink, I need a drink. 
me getting a little scared. Oh, <clears throat> ice cold water is great. Alrighty. Oh, so sorry, guys. Give me one moment. Looks like I had an email. Just checking things. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. <clears throat> so what are you saying is we have Until Dawn. <laughs> Another game I need to play. My memory skipped forward a bit after that. I just remember being completely stunned at what Mary revealed to me. Have I played any of the Fatal Frame games? I played one, like the first game, many, many years ago when it first came out. I remember I rented it with a buddy of mine. I came home, didn't like it at all, and the people were kind enough for, to let me re exchange it for another game because it was too damn scary for me. And it's probably scary for me now if I, if I ever play it again. <clears throat> I can probably attribute it to memory loss caused by the mark. The next thing I know... I'm lying in a guest room in the mansion. I vaguely recall dragging myself up the stairs and coming here. I must have fallen asleep at some point, and thanks to that, I feel a lot better. I'll die at dawn, huh? I try saying it out loud. It's definitely shocking, but I can't say it feels real yet. It doesn't make sense. It's way out of the blue. But if it's true, is waiting for my untimely death the only thing I can do? It might be a good idea to ask Mary more about it. I find Mary sitting in the exact same spot as before. She hasn't moved an inch. I doubt a dog gets bored waiting like humans do. Well, I understood morning. The good morning part. <laughs> I know very little Japanese, thanks to some anime. Good morning, Lord Yashiki. Are you feeling better now? <clears throat> Um, sort of, I guess. I mean, I don't know how to, how to word this. I sort of. Wonderful. Oh no, uh, that was I. I thought that was me being sarcastic to her. No, she's talking. Wonderful. Since it appears that you have calmed down, I would like to ask a question. What will you do now? I can guide you down only two paths. The first is to wait for death. The second is to fight the mark. Can you help me? If that is what you wish, then yes. My master was researching the mark. A few days prior to her death, she found a way to escape it. Regretfully, she passed away before she was able to inform me. So she doesn't know anything after all. There is some time yet before dawn. You have a slim chance. Salvation is a thin thread dangling from heaven. Would that, uh, would that you would grab hold of it, and I shall do my utmost to help. What will you do? I guess it boils down to whether I trust her. And she's right about all this. My time on Earth is up, is up at dawn. If I don't want to die, then there's no other choice but to resist the mark until then. If she's lying, I'll be fine when, when morning comes. But am I really alright with that? People are being killed in nonsensical, grotesque ways. Am I going to turn a blind eye to it? This is a life or death decision. I need to think about it carefully. What the hell is that? Live or die? I guess here's a game mechanic. Deadly choice. You'll be faced with choices that can result in death. 
There's limited. Oh shit! I hate the. I hate time limits when it comes to things like this. There is limited time, and your soul power will continue to drain. Soul power? Time's up or wrong answers will result in game over. So be quick, but also be careful in finding the right answer. Restoring soul power. Completing a deadly choice will restore some soul power. Accelerated dialogue. Dialogue will be sped up while pressing the L1 button, but certain dialogue cannot be sped up. Backlog. The options button or start will display the previous dialogue. Auto mode. The R1 button will activate auto mode. Hiding the dialogue window. You can hide the dialogue window by pressing triangle. Then I shall ask you. Will you quietly wait for death, or struggle against the mark? Okay. So, obviously we need to fight against the mark. Part of me is curious to see what's going to happen if I choose wait for death. So, what do you guys think I should do? I, I'm giving you guys a choice here because obviously I, I I don't I don't think I want to I want to do this all the time like let's see what the death is you know um did I save I did not get a chance to save oh crap wait a minute yeah I didn't save um yeah damn you know what I think I think I may just go ahead and play it safe then, and I'll, I'll just do my best to stay alive. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Sorry, got another email. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm gonna. I'm, I think I'm just gonna fight against it. So that's soul power. Oh man, F it, I'm, I, I'm curious. It's gonna kill me, I'm curious. I was wrong, obviously. What's gonna happen? If if I gotta do this all over again, I'm gonna skip it up. Don't worry about it. Well, this is a, I think it's the only time I'm gonna do it, just so I can test it out, and then later on, I'm gonna willingly try choosing the right stuff. Then you meekly accept your death by the mark? Oh. Yeah? So soul power keeps going down, so yeah, except death. Once again Oh god. Wrong. So they said I'd restore it if I choose the right thing, correct? <clears throat> Is that so? Then please rest here in the mansion until dawn. Yeah, nothing's gonna happen to me. Good night. I'll be fine. I'm gonna wake up in the morning. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> well, that's stupid. That's it? Just game over? I thought there, I thought I thought there was gonna be an elaborate death scene or something. Oh, see, okay. Okay, well, you know what? I'm glad I did that because now I see like there's nothing special if I choose something wrong. Um That's for later. Even then, even if it's for later, I feel like I'm not going to, like, blah. Whatever. We'll decide again. Choose the right stuff. My, my soul power is going to remain the same, right? Yeah, completing it. Okay. Skip, 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 skip. Come on. Fight the mark. Fight the power. Safe. I survived! Yay! So far, so good, ladies and gentlemen. Deadly choice. That's for later. I don't worry, in the future, the consequences will get graphic. There will be very high stakes. See, we, I think when it comes to that, I feel like I will want to 
um, be correct if I can. I decided to trust you. As you say, Lord Yashiki, then I shall carry out the dying wish of my master and aid you. I cannot do much, but feel free to request anything you wish of me. I made up my mind, but it doesn't mean I know what I should do. I know squat about the supernatural, and losing my memory makes research impossible. But I don't have a moment to lose. A knock comes from the front door. Who come here this late at night? Oh my, what a sign of fate. It seems that other mark bearers have arrived. Is it instinct that she knows these things? Maybe she has some kind of mysterious power being a talking doll and all. I beg your pardon, Lord Yashiki. I do apologize, but could you go greet our guests in my stead? They may experience a shock if a doll such as myself welcomes them. Moreover, while I am able to move my arms, I am unable to walk. <clears throat> I move to the front door to greet, my, to greet our guests. People fated to die, like me. I wonder what they're like. Who I find at the door are not who I expect to see at this late at night. A high schooler? And a small boy. These kids have the mark? No way. Um, we came to see Professor Cujo. Who are you? I can't say I'm a total stranger since I'm, I'm here in a mansion. I'm, uh... I would say her disciple, but they, they might ask me questions. Same thing with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend's kind of what I want to choose. But I feel the most... like what I'm trying to think what I would do. So I think I would say a relative. So, I'm a relative. Oh, so you're her older brother. Your eyes do look kind of similar. She seems to know Sayakujo. Not, not that I think about it. That business card did say spirit healer. Going off this girl's accessories, I get the feeling she's a huge occult fan. I'm, uh, I wasn't say Mo, but I'm assuming it's Moe, uh, Watanabe. What? How do you say her last name? Yeah, is it, is it Moe Watanabe? We'll see. I think that's right. Option one, lie. Option two, lie. Option three, lie. I'm here to talk to her about this article she wrote in Oops, Oops, Oop, Arts Monthly. <laughs> Watanabe, Watanabe. Okay. She pulls in. A, she pulls in a cult magazine out of her bag. Inside is a picture of the mark. The accompanying article says the scar is a soul inhibiting disease that erases memories. Inquire at Cujo Mansion. Um. This is the same scar, right? Moe lifts her skirt up a bit to show me her leg. Right there in her right thigh is the mark. Oh, she did. I think I know what the article means by erasing memories. I have been super forgetful lately. I'm even blanking on my friend's names. Boy, she knows her name, though. She knows her own name. I guess it like, differs depending on what you forget what you don't forget. That's never happened to me before. Do you think that scar, the scar's doing it? Hey, welcome back, Justin. That article's... Wait, that, that's the boy. That article's obviously bogus. The young boy scoffs. Even kids know better than to believe in ghosts or curses these days. And the high schooler fell for it. You must feel embarrassed about that. But, Sukasa, weren't you hanging around hanging, ar hanging around out in the front of the mansion's gate? Fess up, your scar scares you. Uh. Sukasa seems to have no retort to that. He silently sulks. He gives you a Kokichi vibe and you're excited? Oh, please. It's a lie! Looks like a bullseye.
It's clear they're both mark bearers. I better bring them over to meet Mary. Mo shrieks ex Moe shrieks excitingly when she gets close. Oh my god, so cute! It's a doll, yeah? I've never seen one this big before. The craftsmanship is so detailed. It's almost like it's alive. They're both admiring her when... Welcome to Kujo Mansion. What? It spoke? I'm not sure who's talking when during that those times, so forgive me there. With that, the two new visitors join our number. They enter this monstrous, 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 excuse me, world. I think I wanted to say Metropolis for whatever reason. <laughs> that hovers on the uh, precipice of death. Mary tells Moe and Tsukasa about the mark once they regain their composure. All about the steady memory loss, about their imminent death. It sounds like a ridiculous story, but it gains validi uh, validity coming from someone like her. Both of their faces pale. Now, if you come specifically here, if you came specifically here because you believed Lady Saya's article, you must already... You, m you must have already experienced the pain of losing your memories. Moe admitted as much earlier, but I can see Tsukasa's face darken. So it must be happening for him, too. Hey, Moe. I'd like to confirm something. Where were you when you got the mark? My amnesia seems to be worse than theirs. So they might, so they might remember. I'm not positive, but I think my mark might be a curse from Hanahiko. Hanahiko? This name is familiar to me. He is the ghost the resident children of this town whisper about, correct? My master was interested in him. So Sayakuja was curious too. Could be connected to the mark somehow. I'd like to, I'd like to hear more about this ghost. As you, were, as you wish, Lord Yashiki. Then I shall tell you the rumors of Hana, Hanahiko. Yeah, I couldn't... I... Hanahiko. Oh, F! Screw all that shit. What the hell's all that on the right? <laughs> Can I stop playing now? I'm, I, think, I, I hope I'll be fine. So, uh, chapter one. Um. So we play the we play the rumors, or maybe just because it's a chapter one. Well, we'll see. Oh, did you hear about that ghost boy? All the schools in H City are talking about. Sounds like Hanashiko. Hanahiko. See that kind of Hanashiko. Hanahiko is back. I heard that he can appear if you peek in a school mirror at night. Oh, great. He'll ask you something. Am I pretty? If you tell him no, you'll be fine, but if you say yes, give me that red stuff then. And then he just disappears. But that's not all. Hanahiko uh, hates adults, you know. I heard that if the person he asks is an adult, they'll die. And not just drop dead. Their blood is drained from them. Ugh. And next to the corpse is a single rose. <laughs> a rose dripping with blood. Should I be taking notes? I feel like I should be taking notes. Um... Unless the game keeps keeps tab of that, because something tells me that, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna come across Hanahiko, and he's gonna ask me that, and I have to say no. Now the whole thing about him saying that he doesn't like adults sounds like why are you gonna ask the question regardless? Then, well, we'll figure it out. Rumors can be easily manipulated, passing from one person to another. Assumptions and errors mix in. 
but they also hold a hint of truth. Miss Moe, do you know anything else? Oh, crap. Yeah, if I'm going by assumptions and rumors, then the information could be wrong. Oh, God. This sucks already. Oof. Okay. I think I probably got my mark when I was investigating Hanahiko at H Elementary School. This has got to be some sort of clue. I should ask her more about it. Um... I mean, she says she... I would say why she was there, but she said she went there to investigate Hanahiko. Um... Should I say when did she notice her? Well, maybe... I'll ask, like, did she even come across him? I don't think so. But I can't really say for sure. I went to the mirror, but a shiver suddenly ran down my spine. I got spooked and left. What should I ask next? Ask next. Oh, so yeah, I can just go down the line like Phoenix Wright. Um, when did you notice the mark then? I noticed it later in the bath. A strange scar was suddenly on my thigh. It really surprised me. I realized immediately that it had, it had to be what Professor Kuja wrote about. And finally, why were you at H Elementary? My big dream is to write about the uh, about the occult, so I'd love to see a ghost. I found this article in a magazine mentioning ha Hanahiko was seen there. I figured that place would be easier to sneak in uh, than a regular school, since it's been closed down. I think I have a handle what happened. Uh, no way to know for sure about the ghost, but there's no denying that she had the that she had the mark after returning home from H Elementary. Then maybe... Tsukasa glances down his left hand. Mine might be from Hanehiko, too. I noticed that after I got home from T Elementary, that ghost was seen at a lot of schools in H City, right? Maybe he's remembered something. I better ask him some questions, too. I think I have an idea or, or a theory already what's going to happen. I'm going I'm to hold off on him just right now. What at... The I Am Pretty line reminds me of a Japanese ghost story of a woman who asked that same question. Everything else seems different, though. Huh. You know, this reminds me of something that Junji Ito would write about. Oh. I can't... They are making... Yeah. They are making a season two of uh, the, the collection of uh, the anime. I can't wait. Oh, my God. I, I don't watch much horror anime. But that one I had to, and it was great. For the most part. Some of them just disgusted the living crap out of me. And the only the one I did, all, all I'll say, Grease. That's all I'm gonna say. I go to school there. You've probably heard of it since it's the top ranked elementary in Eight City. Hmm. Did you see him? No. And I didn't get chills or anything either. Oh, but I think I passed the mirror. I went to the bathroom before going home. And when was that? Maybe around sunset? I was heading home until I realized I forgot something and turned back. I don't think he knows anymore. Their stories are pretty similar to the Hanahiko rumors. It can't be just a coincidence. You must investigate the places where Hanahiko appeared. For their sake, as well as yours. Oh, well, that's all well and good, but... What exactly am I investigating here? Death and life coexisting. If the mark originated there, then a way to erase it will also be there. You must find it. Find the key you need to break the mark's curse. That is the only way to escape. And all of a sudden, a huge burden was dropped on my shoulders. It seems that Hanahiko appeared at two schools. Where will you investigate? Ah, oh, shoot. Um. Well. It looks like I'm going to go to both anyway. Let's start off at H Elementary because uh, that. Didn't they say that was the origin of it anyway? Or at least that's what they talked about. We'll do H Elementary. Um, 
Yeah, that's probably wise. They'd arrest you on the spot if you try to sneak into a regular school. A middle-aged man who can't recall his name, let alone address or job title? <laughs> I'd have no excuses if I got caught. Wanna get going then? Let's do this. Wait, you're coming too? Uh, of course. I haven't given up on seeing Hanahiko yet. She grins at me. Is she really strong? Or is this blind optimism? I'm going to... Hey, not you too. Seriously? My life's on the line here. I don't want the reason I died to be because you messed something up. That's pretty bold. Good thing you're cute. But to bring kids along with me is... I understand your hesitation, but the mark does not discriminate, stealing lives of children and adults. If they wish to fight their fate, you should honor that. I suppose human logic doesn't fly when dealing with the supernatural. We'll need to prepare ourselves for worse if we're going to survive. What? Well, that's stupid. Why am I only going to take one of them? Please take only one mark bearer with you, however. A large group will increase the odds of you being detected by spirits. I also ask that you not waste time dawdling with others on the way. It is possible, un is possible unnecessary contact may hasten the effects of the mark. Only engage when absolutely necessary. Keep contact with others to a minimum. Have a safe trip. Seriously, three is not a large group. Take the Kokichi one. Um, so we had to first select a mark bearer. Do this in the partner menu. Oh yeah, hey, mister. Don't you think it'd be a good idea to take notes on what Mary's told us? Your memory's getting worse all the time. You don't want to forget anything. I don't know when I'll lose my memory again. I'll write down all the information I get and keep it in my file. Something in, the, something in it might just save our lives at some point. Thank you. So the game does take, uh notes for us. Perfect. New info is added to the spirit file. Rumors of Hanehiko. Other. Spirit file. Important information on spirits will be added to the spirit file. Check it from your bag. Consult it if you need help. Saving and loading. Hello there, Super Twin. Save at the mansion or haunts. Return to the title screen from the bag to load. Wait, what? Return to the title screen from the bag. Oh. <laughs> okay. Then choose continue. Uh, wow. Um. Okie dokie. I guess we'll go ahead and save. First off, and then we'll take a look at other stuff here. Uh. Fun fact, I've never seen the chapter with the Kokichi one. Only with Moe. The thing is, I want to take Moe. Well, wait a minute. Here's the thing. They say that, according to the rumors, Hanehiko doesn't like adults. So it doesn't make it easier if I take Moe because he's a fellow kid? I'm a little iffy about that. But first off, can we go... Oh, wait. So we got background music effects and then atmospheric effects. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't want to save and exit, though. So here's my bag. Uh, we got stats, apparently. We got power, intelligence, spear power, and dexterity. Um, I don't know what each one does, but... the hell? Okay, so th these are our items. And, or a tool. And oddly enough, it, I guess they have, like, um, what I'm gonna say? They have a, uh, use. Uh, to say, like, how many times you can use it. This is infinite, apparently. It's a letter opener. A pure silver letter opener taken from the mansion's hall. A beautiful woman's face is engraved on the handle. The blade isn't sharp, but it can handle soft items. I can stab with it, and I can 
short. Oh, wait a minute, the range is short. Huh. Okay. And this is a Spear Files. Hanahiko. Um. Here, so yeah, what, what I... Wait a minute. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Yeah, what, what I need to know is if you look in the mirror, he appears. The rumors say you must never answer yes. And for some reason, he hates adults. To find out if the rumors are true, we, we head to the abandoned school where Moe received her mark. Well, okay. We also have uh, the Mark Bearers, Moe Watanabe. Wata Watanabe. Uh, a high school girl who loves the occult. She got the mark at H Elementary and came to Kujo Mansion seeking help from Saya Kujo, a medium. She's quirky, but always energetic and cheerful. She marches to the beat of her own drum. And then we got Tsukasa Yoshida, a young boy from a prestigious private school. His wealthy upbringing makes him polite and courteous, but he can be insufferable at times. When he's in danger, his true egotistical self-centered nature peeks through. See, and that's why I kind of don't want to... Oh! Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh. <sighs> um... God, that scared the sh absolute shit out of me. Okay. Because the, the problem is, I looked down. Oh my, I have kind of. The fuck? I'm lightheaded now. What the hell? Um. I looked down. Like, like I was reading chat. And I looked up and I saw that face. And I'm like, what the hell happened? <laughs> oh yeah, I, I it, it just freaked me out because it just it just happened. So I'm assuming the same thing happens with uh with Moe here. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait and see her other expression because Man, that that did not that didn't sit well with me. Like how that changed. Okay, there you go. Woo, man! If I got scared from that, I am, I am not, I'm not gonna handle this right. And then end. We can we can we save? Oh no 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 no! Hold on. There we go. Woo. Okay, save and exit. They mean save and oh, and it's in the top left. It's on the top right too. I, I just missed. I just saw that. Oh, you're no no deaths pixel. Well, no, I did choose one to see what happened if I wait for death, and I just got game over. So, okay. Hey there, Derby. Welcome to the stream. Remember, if things get too much. Just say the word, and I'll, I'll pop in Discord call with you. I definitely appreciate appreciate it, Joanna. I think I'll be okay. I, I, I just got caught off guard with that, but I think I'll be all right. Let's talk a little bit if we can. Please head to H Elementary and investigate Hanehiko. Choose whether to bring Lady Moe or Lord Tsukasa Sush uh, with you. A large group will increase the odds of you being detected by spirits. And, and do not waste time dawdling. It is possible unnecessary contact may hasten the effects of the mark. Only engage when absolutely necessary. Keep contact with others to a minimum. Same thing, then. All right, Joanna. See you in a little bit. So, I think we saw everything we needed to so far. I'm not sure there's a... I'm sure there's a way we can increase our power, intelligence, spirit power, and dexterity, but we'll see what happens. Um, and then soul power... I don't know if that ever increases. We know it goes down when we're making a choice. But it restores when we make a good choice. So. Huh. 
So, yeah. I, I think just due to the personalities and whatnot, and who I feel is going to be more helpful, if that makes any sense, I'm going to take Moe. Oh, it wasn't that adorable. Mark Bearer. Okay. Um. Let's go. The mark is, it's like a dog bite mark that shows up when, when we come in contact with, apparently, with some type of, like, ghost or whatever. And it's, it's called, it's a literal death mark. Name of the game. And... You die. You like you keep forgetting your memories, and then you die. So, we gotta find a way to stop the mark, which it looks like we might know how to do. First, we have to get to H Elementary. Mary says we're free to use a car in the garage. The garage is detached from the mansion. The vintage model van and bicycles only ex uh, accent the elegant interior. Thank God for careless people. The car key was left on the table. Time to go. Uh, hey. According to Mary, you lost a bunch of your memories, right? Is it really okay for you to drive? She looks at me suspiciously. I th yeah, I think I'll be fine there. Um, you got some adulting to do. Have fun with the rest of the spoops, Pharaoh. No problem, Binks. Thank you for coming out. Ah, uh, don't worry. It'll be fine. I think. It'll all come back when I take the wheel. Part of that is, is to convince myself. But aren't you missing your license? If a cop finds us, we'll have, to, we'll, we'll have more to worry about than Hanahiko. <sighs> She's right about that. But our lives are on the line, so we don't have much of a choice. Once the mark's gone, I'll remember. Then I'll just have them reissue it. Assuming I ever get one. Ugh, now I'm even more worried. Just try safe, okay? So now we can choose where to go, but uh, we're going to H Elementary. Man, is this the speedometer of the car? That thing goes pretty damn slow. Human bodies are remarkable. Back in the garage, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to drive or not. But the second my hands touched the wheel, I wasn't worried anymore. My muscles reacted quicker than I expected, and now it's easy to guide this monster down the road. But now, thoughts of what I can do no longer... No, uh, thoughts of what I can no longer do start to filter into my head. Hey, mister. Moe pipes up hesitantly. I probably let the silence go on too long. Oh, yeah, probably kilometers. That's right, we are in Japan. She doesn't seem as cheerful as she was a little while ago. What's it like to lose your memories? That's a hard question to answer. What do you mean? Like, do they all go at once? Or a few pieces at a time? What if you're, you've, you're only left with sad memories? I'd hate that. I don't think it works like that, but... I have no idea if it's getting worse or better. I don't know what I, what I, what I was like to begin with, so there's nothing to compare it to. In that sense, rather than the memories vanishing... It's like everything's been painted white. That's what it feels like, anyway. Kilometers is what reasonable people use? Well, excuse me. <laughs> Although it is weird that way. It's the US and what, New Zealand or some other country that only use um, metrics or whatever? And I, I don't get it. Everyone else uses everything. Or no, I'm, it's vice versa. I'm, I'm Forget about it. Oh. You sure, you, you sure are mature, mister? You take everything so calmly. 
power station dwindles, leaving only the sound of the tires on the road. The U.S., Myanmar, and uh, Liberia are only all the countries. Oh, New Zealand. Okay, New Zealand. What I, why I said New Zealand is like I believe that only in the U.S. and New Zealand are only countries that play commercials regarding medication. I believe everywhere else, there's no commercials for medication. I think that's how it is anyway. Then thoughts are popping to my head again, one after another. I know we have to check out that mirror, but what else should we investigate? What do you think? Moe glances over at me. No idea. I can't even remember my own name. How the hell am I supposed to know what we're doing? Oh, please. I'm really counting on you. <sighs> think whatever you want. I'm talking to a child. I need to show restraint and be a good example. But that's definitely how I really feel. I stare down at the steering wheel. The doll of the mansion. Mark bearers. The mark spirits. And the mysterious deaths. I feel like I'm going to be buried all under all the crushing thoughts that keep popping into my head. What awaits me down this dark road? What, awa what awaits me down this dark road? I feel a flutter from the mark on my wrist, like it's trying to warn me. My brain might not be able to understand, but my body can sense it. That death is closing in. If that's happening, if that's happening, it isn't a problem anymore. It's more how long do I have left? So in the UK, you're allowed ads for over-the-counter stuff. Now see, okay, that's understandable. At least in my opinion. If it's over-the-counter, then I don't then I don't see a problem why you can have commercials for that. But to have medication, or excuse me, to have commercials or advertisements for medication that you need to be prescribed or to talk to a professional, like a a medical professional about I mean other countries like they're like what the hell no of course not now I, I guess I can understand it's like okay you, you it's good to be informed whatever but sometimes people will be so insistent on a certain medication that and you don't know if it's gonna be good for you but then again the doctor knows so there's that Canada's a mess people use both the Imperial and metric system depending on the situation <laughs> How much longer is it? <laughs> I almost yelled, but I managed to swallow it down with effort. Um, I think we're almost there. Really? It's closer than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly right. At any rate, it could, at any time, it could. It's a lot closer than you think. But it's also odd because it's like, oh, I mean, I understand it's a visual novel. We're just, staying, we're just staying in place. So I'm like, hey, we've just been parked here on the road for all this time. Looming ominously in the moonlight, the school definitely looks abandoned. For quite a number of years, in fact. The walls are starting to crack. All the windows are broken as well. A thick chain is in the front of the main gate to keep people from going in. Hey, you, not another step! Oh no, wait, we, no, we're not supposed to talk to anyone else. Oh, I'm going to say it right now. This guy is dead. The enthusiastic voice comes from a man in a guard uniform. He must be patrolling the area. Looks like we got caught. Well, this property belongs to the city. No one's allowed inside, didn't you know? Or are you up to something? A bunch of people have been coming here on day, on dare since it's haunted. You aren't one of them, are you? Um. <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. No. Um, it's haunted? Well, that's what the rumors are saying anyway. It's a giant pain. Moe nods in agreement. It is pretty famous, after all. Oh, wait, no. That, I, I think that was Moe. That, see, I'm going to have trouble 
figuring out who is saying what because whoever's on screen. The guard sighs. Anyway, the school's off limits, so you can't go inside. I don't want any trouble on my first shift here. Please leave. Nina. Okay? Muttering to himself, the guard makes his way into the school. Oh, so he's actually patrolling the inside of it. He's not just patrolling the grounds, like the outside, the perimeter. He's actually in there. As we watch him leave, Moe leans over and whispers. Damn, there wasn't a guard when I snuck in here before. We better not get caught. Deep breath, Pharaoh. This is where it really begins. Whew. Alrighty. First day on the job is, is the new two days from retirement. <laughs> Moving around a haunt. Use directional buttons to move. The map shows which way you're facing and where you, you can go. Ah, okay. Hmm. We also have our... Well, we have a memo. So once again, if we need to learn more about Hanahiko, it's going to be there. Uh, we can examine, but not just yet... We have our bag and the record. Oh, which is saving. Which I'll save again. I might be saving quite a bit. Headed to the entrance. Okay. Okay. So here we go, guys. Pushing open the doors, I head inside. Whoa, it's so dark. We can't see anything like this. The moonlight doesn't reach inside. We'll just have to use the flashlight. But if we use the flashlight, that guard will find us. Can't do anything about it, I guess. Anyway, that mirror is... Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's to the right. On the staircase. Investigating a haunt. Move the left stick to search the current area. Shine the flashlight in areas of interest and press X. Pressing square, or excuse me, circle, I can't tell my shapes anymore, will end the search. Use the directional buttons will end the search and, you, and move you. Okay. I have torn poster. It says lost and found in large letters at the, uh, at the, at the top. And I, there's commands for it. I um, guess we can look. Lost items are kept in storage in the staff room. Please check there if you're missing something. I could also use a tool. I take out the letter opener. But what should I do with it? I can't think of any way to use it. Okay. I touch the paper. It, dis it disintegrates the second my fingers reach it. It scatters through the air. Nothing else looks interesting. Lost times were kept in storage. Oh, okay. A flyer con containing warnings and a list of contacts. Do not leave handprints on the mirror uh, on the eastern staircase. Thank you. Independent research presentation. First floor, multi-purpose classroom. Come check it out. Wow, that presentation takes me back. Anyway, the mirror on the, on the eastern staircase is the one I saw. Guess we'll go there first. No, no we won't, because you guys know me. I like investigating everything besides what we're supposed to be investigating. So, yeah, it's to the right. I turn over to Torn Flyer. But I don't find anything in particular. Nothing's there, huh? Looks like it. Okay. Um, if it helps, think of these segments as uh, investigation segments from Ace Attorney. Okay. She's quite cheerful for someone dying in a few hours. Hey, we're trying to stop that. The ceiling is filthy and the fluorescent lights are broken. There are platforms of broken wood slats in front of the shoe rack. 
They creak when you step on them. The battered shoe rack is covered in dirt. Why can't I go up properly? In the like sometimes it doesn't... It might be my controller. Alright. Mm. I don't like hallways. Not like this. Huh? As we enter the hallway, a small shadow flits across our feet. I turn on the flashlight to find... That ain't a cute bunny. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Aw, bunny. It's so cute. What, was it a school pet? Why are all the windows broken? I mean, it's, it's old and dilapidated, so... I'm, I'm, I'm assuming some people are messing with the school. The black rabbit squeaks and dashes between our feet. He rushes toward the eastern end of school. Aw, I ran away. Is it telling us to follow? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, it's kind of weird that the black rabbit was added. Oh no, it's the bunny from Monty, uh, Monty Python. That's right. Oh my god. He's dangerous. Dangerous. Um. Wait, huh? Oh, there we go. I was like, where is it? A mysterious black rabbit appeared in front of us from nowhere. It's funny, but we've encountered so many strange things already that an odd bunny doesn't phase me at all. Though, this paralyzing dread might be a bit, uh, bit concerning. Anyway, first we have to find that mirror. Hush your mouth. That bunny is adorable. I don't... The red eyes freak me out. I don't like how there's nothing in front of us. The rain coming in from the broken windows, making the, fur the floor cold and damp. Door's locked. It's a locked door. The keyhole isn't, isn't rusted over. If I had a key, I could open it. I wonder if I could wrench it open uh, by sticking the letter opener into the hole. I give it a try, but it won't even fit inside. Wow, so uncool. Really? It's not uncool. I'm trying to open the damn door. Seems to be locked. So I'm, I'm trying to get in there. Obviously, it's not going in. Um, let's move forward. The lights on the ceiling are silent and dark without power. Oh, I enter that room. There are nonsensical scribbles on a blackboard. Uh, it's an abandoned desk. It's a desk like you'll find at any school. But surprising, it doesn't look very weathered. Guess that goes to show how durable school desks are. Oops. I stick my hand inside and feel around. Hey! A plastic bottle, apparently. There's nothing in the bottle. Well, it might come in handy. There's a dirty, empty plastic bottle. It, uh, it's in pretty decent shape, so if the cap is firmly closed, it should be able to hold liquid. Hmm. Okay. Somebody was shooting artillery pieces in here. See, seriously, it's like everything's like blown up. What the hell? It's a classroom from an assassination classroom. It's a classroom from Dong and Rapa too. The dust is so thick that on a ceiling that just walking around causes a shower of particles. Man. 
Yeah. Damn it. You know what sucks is my controller. My original controller that came with the, with the console. The left analog stick is not cooperating, as you guys can tell. Sometimes, like, when I go up, it, like, gets stuck. So, that kind of sucks. There's a hole in the wall. I can see something stuck deep inside. I stick my arm in, but the hole gets narrower the further I go in. I can't reach what's inside. I set the letter opener in a hole and scrape around out the item that was stuck inside. Look, guys, I used my brain. I got a worn out talisman. When I pick up the worn out talisman, I feel some warmth flow through me. Oh, hey, I got soul power. But that was like, so quick, I don't even know how much I got. The worn out talisman crumbles silently in my hand. So, I gotta find a worn out talisman to restore my soul power. The more soul power you have, the easier it will to survive a deadly choice. Noish. Noish. And I got an achievement. Or, excuse me, a trophy. So. Oh, wow. They gave me 500 soul power. That's great. Now, knowing me, I feel like I want to choose very quickly um, my choice. Oh, and look at that. They they each have their own stats, which I don't even know what the hell these stats do. Moe seems to be good with... She has better spirit power. Only one, though. Okay, well, is that it? I'm pretty sure it's all I was here. The rain uh, coming in from the broken window is making the floor damp, cold and damp. The broken window is letting in a piercingly cold wind. Door's locked. And I just have a bottle and a um, letter opener. It's not going to work, but I'll check. wonder if I can wrench it open by sticking the letter opener. Nope. Door's locked. Okay. Nice think that's all I can do. Now, the bad thing is, unfortunately, it doesn't tell me which doors are locked and unlocked. So, that I'm going to have to try remembering. But... The hell? Did I miss that? Hold on a minute, guys. I got a notification about something, but I totally didn't see it show up. On my, uh... Ugh, hold on. Ah, I totally missed that. Peekaboo, $5. Link, I know that was you. One, because I can tell from the email, but also because I know you use those funny names. Um, thank you so much, man. I don't know how long ago that was, but thank you so much, buddy. I'm sorry I missed, I missed out on that earlier, but... Yeah, dude, appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of weird there's stats in a visual novel, but it's like, I'm not really sure what the hell they're going to be used for, but we'll see in just a bit. Okay. Let's move forward. Didn't like that. <laughs> Since I know you're the kind of player to not use your items just in case, I'll tell you now that you can't take items between chapters. Gotcha. Thank you, Joanna. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at the fire door. The paint is peeling from the fire door, revealing rust underneath. When I open the side door, all I find is a wall. I'm about to give up and close the door when I notice something stuck to the back of it. Hey, look, another talisman. 2,000. Nice. Damn, creepy laugh. I'm out. <laughs> well, Link, if you do gotta go, you gotta go, man, because this game's not for everybody. I mean, I'm getting a little tense. 
but uh, I'm trying to hold on. We, we haven't even gotten to the scary crap yet. Ah, uh, crumble silently in your hand. Climb the stairs. The pieces of concrete littered the floor. I think they came from the walls. Now, once again, this is the Western Hall. Um, because I want to check out everything before I go to where I need to go. If possible. We climbed the stairs to the second floor. Hmm? I feel something soft and s soft squish on. What? I feel something soft squish under my heel. I quickly pick up my foot and shine my light down. Are those snakes? Oh, poisonous snakes. That's not good. You have my guardian dragons here, so I'm gonna stick around for the long haul. But if I if I didn't have them, yeah, I might have bounced. I hear you, Moxie. Definitely appreciate you being here. The hallway is covered with poisonous snakes. Moe lets out something close to a shriek upon seeing them. Eee, snakes! Metal Gear. We decided to go back to the landing. Okay, so I cannot go up the western stairs. Okay. So we'll just move forward. Now see, now we're looking at an, another angle. Because now this we didn't see before. It's an emergency alarm. Ooh, do I want to even feel that? Um. Hmm. Shiai, welcome to the stream. You missed a few streams because your PC broke? Oh, I'm sorry. I hope uh, it's all better now. Poison is ingested. Venom is injected. So they're venomous snakes. So yeah, I can, I can see how people can get, get those two confused. I didn't know there was a difference between poison and venomous, but okay. And welcome back, Super Twin. So, why why were they squishy? I've handled snakes for squishy. You've handled snakes before. Squishy is not how I would describe them. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a... Ah, whatever. Um, the light on the alarm is very faint. Something might be wrong with it. Against better judgment, I open it up and shine a flashlight to see if there's anything inside. Oh no, like, I'm glad I did that. I got... Man, I'm getting a lot of soul power. Hell yeah, we got 1,500 more than what we started out with. That's great. Okay. Uh, check, time to check the eastern side of things now. I still... I wish that my controller was acting normal. Uh, it looks like something smashed the fluorescent lights. They're shattered beyond repair. Uh, you didn't really miss anything at all, um, Super Twin. Like, I tried going up the western staircase, but there were, po excuse me, venomous snakes, um, blocking the path. So now I'm going to the eastern hallway. Let's see what's in this room. Well, nothing's in this, uh, on, on the blackboard, nothing's in the hole. Bend desk. The fallen desk is slightly rusty. Turn desk around and stick my hand inside. I got a holy hard hat. <laughs> a holy hard hat. Not holy like, you know, God, but holy like it has a hole. Get it? Oh, you guys get it. Holy hard hat. I doubt that's very useful. But it's odd why we have it. Uh, a yellow hard hat for a child. It, it's got holes and is missing its padding. So it's likely not very effective. It can be forced on an adult head with effort. Huh. 
That's not gonna pass OSHA regulations. I, oop, there's lights. The dust is so thick in the ceiling that just walking around causes a shower of particles. Okay. I think that's it. I get a little antsy anytime I move forward. Cause I, I, like, I feel like someone's going to be like, ah, right here. The floor tiles have peeled off, leaving bare concrete. The broken window is letting in a piercingly cold wind. Door's locked, huh? Um, well. Can I smack it with the hard hat? I take out the holy hard hat. What do I do with it? I don't have any particular good ideas. Just smack it a little bit, man. My, okay. Um, I guess we leave. All right. Here's the eastern hallway. What the fudge was that? <laughs> was that like a was that a ghost? I didn't take a good look at it though. Fire door starts to shut and won't move. Ooh. Alrighty. The mirror's up here. Do you know what I'm gonna do, guys? We're gonna take our first break. <laughs> um, it's it's been like an hour and a half, a, a little bit more. That that that's that's a good time for me to take a break anyway. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um like a three to five minute break we'll come back we'll finally investigate the mirror spoopy things are gonna happen i'm sure and uh yeah we just take things from there i guess so yay oh and snow yeah he made it just for a break yeah <laughs> don't worry it's gonna it's gonna be a quick one and then uh you'll be in for the spoops i guess <sighs> see you guys in a little bit